You're listening to two guys that are too fat and lazy to go shoot up YouTube. It's BM Talk with Mark and Bob. <laughs> Let us pray. Our Father, who broadcasts in New York, Howard be thy name. The King of all media. Baba Booey be done on earth and across the airwaves. Give us a hey now and Robin's news. And forgive us for our bad phone connection and boring calls as we just want to be part of the show. And lead us into the future and deliver us from the FCC. For Howard is the king with the power and the ratings now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Podcasts are bullshit. Hey now, I'm the Oha He Saw Yo. Hey now, I'm the Oha No. I fucked up. <laughs> I think I fucked it up in the beginning. Too. Try it again. I'm the Oha He Saw Yo. And that means hello. Hello in Korean. It sounds like you're putting a curse on me. <laughs> it does. I'm the Oha He Yo. And an egg roll with that, please. I figured since we're <laughs> since we might be ruled by North Korea, I should know how to say hello. At Korean. least, at least hello. Yes. You know, before we get into anything, I used to have a saying, like when I was younger, like it was a, like a joke thing. I need so ho yo yo ma. No, I used to say that there's only three things I want to learn how to say in every language. Fuck you. Hello. Oh. Or. Uh, no, three things. That I, uh, do you speak English? Yeah. Where's the bathroom? Okay. And can you take your top off? <laughs> nice. Uh, the only three things I ever want to learn how to say in every language. Nice. Because outside of that, it's pointless. Right. Right. But, uh, yeah, hey now, we're looking at episode 30. Am episode I correct? Episode 30. We have now approached 30. Yes. That's exciting. I know. Oh Almost as exciting. As my day yesterday. Oh, I want to hear about this. Not only was it a long day, I'll try and sum it up quickly so okay. it, you know it's not too boring of like, okay. But well, got up 545, got the kids ready, breakfast okay. and all that stuff, went to work, uh, drove um, not my normal school bus run, but another run because a guy was out, got finished about 830, ran home real quick because I had to do laundry because later on... Yesterday, uh, we had Angel had his baseball pictures okay. for uh, minor league. So I threw a bunch of laundry in, sheets and stuff like that. Finished in the laundry, threw them in the dryer, went back to work by 10. Uh, had to be at the school by 10.30 because it's Regents Week. It's the end of the school year, so all the high school kids are in and out at different times for their tests. All right. Got up to the school by 10.30, sat there till a little after 11. Whatever kids I had, I drove home. I only had one. Oh. And there was two buses up there, and the other guy with me, he only had one because we split the village in half. So we brought those kids home, the one student we each had. Then we had to drive around our half of the village looking for anybody else looking to go in for their 12 o'clock test. So drive around the village, didn't find nobody. Went back to the school, waited for anybody else to get out of their morning test. And because it was 8 o'clock till 11 o'clock was the morning test, 12 to 3 was the afternoon test okay so we get back before 12 i had three kids we left about 10 after 12 brought them home got back to the school i was done <coughs> and i had to be bet and i got done i don't know about 12 30 12 35 and i'm like oh shit i only got about a half hour i gotta be back here at one to drive to waterville to pick up two kids so I'm like, what am I going to do? I don't want to go all day without eating. So local pizza joint, that's dollar slice day. Went down there. And here's where it gets fun. Ooh. Now, it's 1230, so it's fucking packed. There's lunch, a line to the door. Time. And it, you know, dollar slice day. Right. So I'm behind these two old ladies. One of them's got to be about 175 years old. 
obviously doesn't get out because she's her fucking motor mouth is running. She's talking to everybody, talking to her. I think it was her daughter she was with, and this woman was probably 100 years old. And they're talking and this and that. They get up. Now, it was probably 10 minutes we were waiting in line. They get up there. Now they don't know what the fuck they want. Uh, they're getting slices, but now they don't know. It's like, what the fuck? You want them here to go? And then that was like a Final Jeopardy question. Uh, so they get their stuff. Now we go to pay. I, I got my stuff to go. I'm just going to go back to the school, wolf down some pizza, get on the bus, and go do my afternoon run. Okay. The old lady in front of me, 175 years old. Oh, that was my that was my alarm. Wake you up? Yeah. Are you up now? Yeah. Okay. Old lady says to the guy behind the counter, the cashier. Now just pay. Do you see? There's a line of fucking people behind you. Okay. Right. No, she's got. Why so? Why why is it so busy in here today? Well, it's the guy. And the guy says, "Well, it's dollar sign." No, I know that, but it seems big. Well, I saw the sign in the front, and it said, uh, "What's the Snapchat app?" Uh, now, the guy behind the counter is trying to trying to get through it. He was like, "Oh, it's a, it's a thing that the kids use a lot." Oh, cause, so can I get? Is it a discount ticket or do I have? Now she doesn't. Know, she doesn't know what Snapchat is. She barely knows what the fuck pizza is at this point in her life because she's about twenty five years past death. And now the fucking guy behind the counter is explaining to her. What Snapchat is, how it works, what that? I'm like, are you fucking kidding me? I just, I started laughing. A couple guys behind me were like construction workers. They were just smiling and shaking their heads. So, just to be an asshole, after the lady finally left, I walk up. I'm like, yeah, uh, three slices and a soda. I said, is there any chance you can explain to me how email works? <laughs> so he, he started laughing. The other guy, I was like, no, I said, I'm just kidding. There's a line of people. I said, I'll go online. And, that was a heck of an effort. <laughs> I said, I'll just go online and read about it. So I'm just breaking balls. <laughs> but I was just like, holy shit. Really, lady? Oh, my God. Like, man. as if she's going to go download the Snapchat chat app and start. But it's just. At a rotary phone. They need to take. take oh, listen. If you have old people, old parents, and you're take them out more than for dollar slice, take them out so they can see the world, so they're not standing in the fucking line asking people about Snapchat or, or whatever uh, because they don't know anything. You, I, I just, I, oh, that's why. Oh, it's okay. okay. And I'm just like motherfucker. I just want my. I just want to go. I don't have time. Uh, then after my run, I had to go pick up. Uh, the little one from daycare. Pizza, pizza. Got home. No, we didn't have pizza. We had uh, hamburger helper. We ate that quick. Then we had to go down to the ball field so they could get their baseball pictures taken. I'm just like, what the fuck? Oh. My, this day's never going to end. Oh, man. But, yeah, that, that, that was my thing. The old lady asking about Snapchat. Oh. Because when, when you walk in, you know, they got the little menu thing. Yeah. And it said something about I didn't get to read it because I don't, I don't have Snapchat. Oh, I don't yeah, care. But they have, like, a picture of the app up there. But, yeah, and it said like, uh, download. download Snapchat at, for something. I don't know what it is. Oh, I think because they may have. Um... <laughs> that was funny. Oh. They have uh, Bob just, uh, for those of you not watching on YouTube, uh, Bob just yawned and it looked like he was. Uh, he was having a fit, like. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, so, if there's an, any excuse to check us out on YouTube, it would be for that yawn. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I forgot what I was saying. Oh, the Snapchat. Yes, thing. Snapchat. I guess they have a filter oh, for okay. that you they can use in that. Pizza boys. And, yeah, yeah, and I guess maybe there's like a discount or something. I, I I didn't read the whole thing because, like I said, there was tons of people in there. Right, but. Yeah, this old lady's holding up the line because she doesn't know what fucking Snapchat is. Oh, dear. And the guy behind the counter is trying to explain to right, Snapchat. Like, <laughs> right, like, because she obviously isn't going to go anywhere until she gets an explanation. And he's trying to... He's trying to do... I, I, I give the guy a lot of credit. I'm not, like, angry with him or even right. with the old woman, for that matter. But, like, he was trying to move it along as quickly as possible, trying to sum it up without explaining everything to her. He's like, hey, lady... This is Snapchat. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So you go on there. You know what I'm saying? And you got to download the app. You know what I'm saying? And you got to get get this filter. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, what a day. Chris hates to know I'm saying uh, clip. <laughs> Does he like anything about I, this show? 
I don't know. How, how is it one day you're, you're belly laughing, and then, it, but you, whenever you talk to one of us, it's like, I don't like this. I don't like I, this is old. I don't like this part. I don't get this. I don't understand this. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> don't listen then. I, I don't know what to tell you. This is what it is. It is what it is. It is. You what know? the fuck? It's not for everybody, and I don't want it to be for everybody. No. You know? No, it's... It's for a. Eventually, we're going to get the the crowd we want and the listeners we want, and that you know that's it. Right. If you, you don't get it or whatever, whatever. And, well, like, what do you want from me? And I know it's not a political show, but I have something special. Okay. It is the tweet from Donald Trump yesterday to Bobby De Niro. Oh, I did want to talk about that. Do you yeah. want to? You want me to like give a little backstory in case anybody's been living under a rock? Um. Yes. With give, the, a little, give a little backstory. Like, uh, quick backstory while you're searching for it. Bobby De Niro came out on the Tony Awards and said, fuck Trump, put his hands, fists up like this, got a big standing ovation, and then, if that wasn't enough, said, it's not down with Trump anymore, it's just fuck Trump. And then, you know, the crowd rises and he's celebrating this and that. And, you know, our... President, our commander in tweet, commander in tweet. That's good. Can't ignore any of these things and has to engage in everything. So he came out against Bobby D for saying that. Although, and I got some views on that that I don't quite understand. Like the because the news is like, oh, Bobby D shouldn't have done that, and this and that. And now they're all like against what, but yet. All the news stories have been doing since before he got elected and since he's got elected have just done stories about what a shitty person and a shitty president Trump is. Now somebody comes out and sums it up like nobody else can. Bobby D comes out, sums it up. But pretty much what the majority of Americans are thinking now, fuck Trump, and now he's getting shit for it, which is bullshit. Because, I, I again, not a Trump supporter or hater, but... I don't think he's doing that great of a job, and I, I buy into it. I'm all, I'm all for fuck Trump. I'll buy T-shirts and sell them and wear them. Right. Now, they he has since changed his tweet, which there is not an edit button. There's not an edit button on Twitter, just so everybody knows. There's no edit button on Twitter. Okay, because I don't have it, so they I don't just, know nothing about I, it. I have the original tweet right okay. here. And this is, what, this is what he says. Robert De Niro, comma, a very low capital low IQ individual comma has received too many shots to the head by real boxers in movies I watched him last night and truly believe he may be punch drunk I guess he doesn't realize the economy is the best it's ever been, with employment being at an all-time high and many companies pouring back into our country. Is that true? Wake up, punchy. It is, but it's only true because of what the Obama era did. Okay. It takes, it takes like two to three years before... All right, so it's nothing he did. No. He <laughs> okay, he's, just, he's taking credit However, for it, However, but wait. He has... Received too many shots to the head. <laughs> T-O. Not T-O-O. T-O. But Robert De Niro is a very low IQ individual. Wow. And he it, mis- he. They don't take shots in the movies. No. He he is confused Robert De Niro with an actual professional boxer. That's what I mean. Like in the movie, the movies is more fake than professional wrestling. Yes, and Bob De Niro has stuntmen, I'm sure, that are, if there's anything that goes like to the head, <laughs> there's a stuntman that's taking something along those right, lines. Right, right. Even a body shot, you know. And if he is, like, I watched a documentary on the Rocky movie, and they made that in the 70s. When Sylvester Stallone and Carl Weathers were going at it in the ring. And Sylvester's like, yeah. Besides, uh, like, the uh, close-up yeah. shots of them getting punched in the face. Right. Okay? They're just skimming. Oh, the, yeah. They're, they're not the even. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's like, a, it's like a, 
like it's wrestling a choreograph. Like it's like a dance. It is more just, choreographed they move, than wrestling, right? Nobody's getting punched in a fucking movie unless it's an accident. So Bobby right. De Niro isn't taking shots. No, and he's been in. He hasn't been in a boxing. All right, yeah, most recently with uh, him and Stallone. Ugh. Ugh. I forget That's what the hell it's good. called. But a few years ago, they were in that boxing movie. But since then, he hasn't done a boxing movie since... Yeah, well, listen. He called him a low IQ individual <laughs> yeah. and capitalized the low part. Like, it's not even like a th- constructed thought. And then you have to see how many people are breaking his balls on Twitter. Like, oh, how ironic is that that you can't even spell two? Right. And you're, and calling, you're calling somebody, somebody like, a low IQ. <laughs> and not to mention, your fucking wife is supposed to be against cyberbullying. And what are you doing? Right. You are doing just that. That uh, it's, it's, it's a whole retarded time. We are. I hope in two years he's gone, and whoever steps in next gets his back on track to the you know the way the the way political things I guess should be. Right, nice and corrupt, and no, not on Twitter or, or, or anything else. Do the fucking job of the president and stay off of social media. Right, you know you got the only time to go on social media is like, oh, we went, uh, we went to the White House, whatever dinner. It was great. Thank you, everybody, for showing up. I wouldn't even do that. No, while but you're that's in, what they that's what they use it for. While you're that's in what, office, that's what they use it for. While you're in office, no Twitter account, no Facebook account, shut it all down. After four years or eight years, after that, you have all the time in the world now to, to go tweet. on Twitter, tweet about your experience, tweet right. about this, right. go on, you know, let people know when you're going on at certain times, take questions. Jeez, I'll tell you what, the First Lady has a very tight pussy. Right. All right. But no, we don't have to do that during your fucking presidency. No. no. And then no. you're going to engage in every fucking moron that has a comment? I know. <laughs> This is the man. This is the man we voted for. Well, I didn't, but yeah, that that is the man that was uh, voted in office. This is the man that's supposed to change America. Yes, he's changing it into a joke. He is. He is, is is what he's doing. He is. Do me, open me up again. <laughs> like, do you hear about any other world leaders? Not this way. T- tweeting. Not this way. Everything. No. No. But. Again, that's what you get with a reality cele- reality show celebrity. Right. Businessman. And it, you know what? He really hasn't been a businessman for a while because he's been a reality show. I know. And actually, you can't even say he's a millionaire because we don't even know how much he's worth. Because right, he never, he never released his it. taxes. Right. But he's on that Twitter. He is... He is a tweeting machine. And, you know, I was just sticking up for him, too, the other day. Because, when you know, he went over to North Korea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, and to meet I with him I this and that, and I was like, like... Okay, well, maybe give him the benefit of You know, the yeah, doubt. because the news was like, you know, they were shaking hands, they were smiling, and, they were, you know, he got to another room and they stopped smiling. And they were like, oh, that, must, that was just for the camera, the smiles, because yeah, when I got like, to this room, it dropped. And I'm like... Dude, it, just it, give the guy a fucking break. Yeah, give him something. Just give him something. No, everything's got it's like a backhanded comment. Oh, he's, do, you know, yeah, he's he's doing something now that that could be great, but all oh, the smiles are for the camera. What's he supposed to walk around like a fuck like the Joker? Yeah, I all know. the fucking time smiling. Seriously. And for anybody that's not watching us on YouTube, that <laughs> right there, Mark smiled like the Joker into the camera. Then he, then he, then they said the other thing that got to me is the news said, "Well, Donald Trump says that he'll know in about sixty seconds whether or not this meeting will be successful." I think it was actually about ninety seconds before the president knew. And I'm like, "Are you fucking kidding me? Like, why can't we just like you know what I mean?" It's just so stupid I, that, I know. that no, he was wrong again. See, the president was wrong. He said 60 minutes, but it actually, it took him 65 seconds to figure it out. I know. Just, But then he goes on fucking tweeting well, because, yeah. you know, listen, not that he's listening to this, but maybe somebody who's in contact with him will, will give right. it, listen. There's this thing called the First Amendment Right. Correct. Okay, so Bobby D was expressing his First Amendment right, right, 
and saying what he said. And you, as you the don't have to engage him. You as the in president that. cannot tell him that that you don't want him to say things like that, right? Because that makes you a dictator, and then it just makes like more people are not going to come out. Right. And say things because we're all like children. I don't care what age we are. When somebody tells you that you don't like not to do something, what do you, you do? do it. You do it more, and just to, you know, just to fucking break their bones. Me, open me up again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just fucking retarded. Yes, but we're not a political show. <laughs> no, we're not. But it's fucking in the news. That's all there is, though. I mean, what are we going to do? I know. That's all, like, again, that, okay, that is local legit. news, that's all they cover is national news. Right. Oh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about, too. Our fucking dumbass news people. Oh. WKTV in Utica, New York. Uh, it's terrible. Absolutely horrible. Worst local news station ever. Like, that, who, who I can't, fucking you know writes it? I'm not even going to call them a local news station because they don't cover anything local. They maybe maybe. Three local stories, right. maybe, and then other than that, they get everything from the AP. Yes, and it's Just all like national the news. The Observer disgrace. It's all national. There's no fucking local. Like I said, two, three local stories, and they're run through real quick. Well, I'll tell you, yesterday because you got the weather every fucking ten minutes. Right, right. With that idiot Bill Cardis, <laughs> and and freaking my my mom's friend Carm was over here waiting for the news yesterday. She's like, oh. I want to see this story. I heard that there were bears that broke into a car. <laughs> That's great. And she didn't know where it was. Right. So she's wa- we're watching the news, watching the news. She's like, when the fuck is this thing going to be on? You figure they'd lead with it or something. That's right. That's big local news, you know? Right. No. Especially they, if you live in that area where right. bears are breaking right. into cars. No, they lead with Donald Trump meeting Kim Jong-un. Right, because we haven't heard that all fucking day long. Right, and they think they're giving somebody information that they haven't heard already, and it... This is what, like 6 o'clock news? That oh, yeah, news? Right. this is the evening If news. you don't know that President Trump met with Kim Jong-un by fucking 5, 6 o'clock at night... You're, you're not in touch with the world. <laughs> right. You don't deserve to know that piece of news. <laughs> you should go into the bathroom and drink a bottle of Drano. Right. Or like me, drink this uh, drink this bottle of Kickstart. Right, with, with a shot of bleach. Mm. Because Yummy. that's all that's been talking about since they met. The Today Show, the, the, the Good Morning America, all, all the of them. National, all the legitimate national news where people get their news from has been talking about it. There was a live stream on Facebook from CNN and okay. MSNBC that's what and I mean. all this other shit. And but we need our local news team, and then there's that other girl that Kristen Copeland that r- works with Don Shipman who can't read the news. <laughs> she can't fucking read a teleprompter, like. And it's like, don't you go over notes? No. Before no. you broadcast, <laughs> why would we do that? So we look like a professional news broadcast, right? No, right. And then and then they're constantly. Then they're constantly going to that fucking weatherman. Oh, yeah, because we can't get enough of the weather. By by the end of the news, he's legitimately given every possible forecast (laughs) that you could have. At the top of the hour, he's like, ah, we're going to get a hurricane. Back to you, Don. And then it goes back. Oh, well, right now it's going to be it's partially cloudy. And the sun's peeking through. And By the end of the show, Christ will come back. Christ has come back. Right. (laughs) I, I'm like, wow. what are you predicting for? Oh, uh, the skies will open and Jesus will come back and make nice weather for everybody. Oh, right. well, that's wonderful. Oh, all in a half hour because at the top of the hour you said it was going to get a hurricane. Yeah, well, no, they see this. This here changed. There's the side. a Christ cloud formation. <laughs> <laughs> he'll be back. Yes, this af- he'll be back tomorrow afternoon to right. clear up the skies and make right. it beautiful again. And you'll start seeing the ark. Yes, the ark. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Jesus, we love you. But that, that, that's what they do. That's all. That that to them, that's what the local news is: weather. Yeah, and I don't, I don't understand. I it. don't get. That. You don't need to give a weather report every fucking ten minutes. But it seems to be because they have changed it to where it's like three times in the half hour broadcast. Right. 
that that's Why what do they do that. That's what pe- that's what gets that's their highest rating time. Their fucking weather. Their weather. Don't people because if have people cell missed it, that's what I'm saying. It's no, stupid. But they're catering to that woman that didn't know what Snapchat was, and that's yeah, that's who they're catering to. Right, those people that forget. Ten minutes prior to and they wonder another why national are story, leaving the area. Right, they wonder why people leave the area and they don't come back. Like I would rather hear again. WKTV probably broadcasts what I say, maybe five, six counties wide. Maybe yeah, if that, yeah, maybe like a few that. more. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're telling me five, six counties wide, or, or most of Central New York. There's no local news. I know there totally is. There's nothing going on. So all we're going to do is talk about what I can turn on CNN, MSNBC, Fox News, all those all day twenty four hour news channels. You're going to talk about what they've been talking about all day, right? You're not right. going to tell me about the bear that's breaking into cars or why this school is shut down. I, I would figure the bear breaking into cars. Would be the lead story. You would think. Where was it? Old Forge, probably. Yes. Okay. Old Forge. So you'd think that would be the lead. You'd want it to be summertime. Right. A lot of people are going to Old Forge for just to go up north and be, you know, the water, the water park, camping, You're right? Freaking. All, so you'd all think that you'd that let shit. them know. Hey, listen. There's some bears around. Don't leave your food out. This and that, you know, and give you the rules again about. Ca- no, we're going to talk about Trump and this national story and this national right, story. Right. Then at the end, be like, oh yeah, and, and and they probably did it as a joke story, like oh yeah, Yogi Bear is breaking into cars up in Old Ford. Can so. I tell you the truth? Uh, they really did. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> they made a joke about the uh, the freaking uh, what the fuck that. They made a joke about uh, something with Yogi, I think. Okay. And then something else about uh, uh, the three bears. Something about the three bears. Oh, and Goldilocks? And Goldilocks. Oh, for Christ's sake. Yeah, yeah. They, uh, the people that fucking... We should send an email. Right. And say that um, the lady or the people's car who got broke into is a relative of ours and for them to make light of it is offensive to us because if they were in the car somebody could have gotten hurt and i think it's a disgrace Ooh, a great that you're making a joke about a serious yes, story that's a great idea. that you know like if people come up like if people come up here camping like and a lot of people in in that town of old forge it's very seasonal I mean, they have winter and stuff up there, but the summer is like the big season. Yeah, that okay? is. Yeah. With the camping and all this. It's busy during winter with the skiing and stuff, but, but summertime not so much, hits. Not, not got, so much got, now because the winters are lighter. Right. But they, one of them up there, they create their oh, own they snow. they make snow. Yeah, but okay. either way, summer is the big because you got the... the uh, you could go boating on the lake. You got camping. You can rent boats. The uh, water park is open. you know, And it's nice up north with the mountains and stuff. Right. So you make light of this. People start going up there, and then there these I'm bears go get... see Yogi. Yeah, I'm going to go. And a lot, but a lot of people do that. They go to the dump, and yes. they dump their garden. They watch yes. the bears come yes. in and eat out of the garbage. I, I remember that from when I was a kid. But I think we should. We should send them an email or, or make a phone call and say, listen, I'm offended that you're making light of this situation. It's very serious. Somebody could get hurt. Right. Why don't you people do a real news story and stop making, yes, in in essence of the story, it's funny that a bear opened up a car door, but how funny would it be if there was a little kid in that car door? Yeah, what if the when bear he opened started up? mauling the little kid? Right. Took its limbs off and stuff. So to make light of that situation, like that, that's a problem. That's not a joke. A bear, you're up north camping and a bear, say a bear gets into your car and then closes the door. Right. You don't know. You're getting ready to leave. You got your kids. You're like, all right, I'm going to load the trunk up. All right, kids, go get in the car. And the bear is thinking, the kid's saying. Do me, open me up again. (laughs) The kid opens up the door, and the bear says, ah, you scared him. And they say, what the fuck? Yeah. You should tell, be aware that there's bears. Here's how to, you know, don't leave food out, the whole thing. No, we're going to make fucking jokes about it because that's funny. No, my thing would be is, oh, well, you know, guys, make sure that you press on the issue that you keep your car locked. 
Right. At, you know, in these situations, make sure your car is always Your car locked is locked. And don't leave don't food and food, garbage out right. because, the, you know, any animal will come and, and raccoon, right. all of them. Right. But that's that's what they do when they think they're, they're giving a heck of an effort. They're terrible. Yeah. You're telling me you can't pay reporters to go out and see what's... There's shootings all the time in Utica. Yeah, okay. I want to know about it. I happen to live in Utica. I have friends that live all over Utica. So, uh, you know, there's a shooting here or this here happening. Why don't you report on that? Local, you're supposed to be a local news station, but yet 90% of your fucking broadcast is national news in the weather. Right, right. How does that help me know what's going on around my area? It's not helping you locally, that's for damn sure. Not at all. I, they don't give you anything uh, about... Like if there's field days coming on or, you know, what's going on around so you can take your kids and go do something. It's it's, it's all national. Together, it's not put together well. And they think, they really think that they're doing a great job. Why yeah, oh do yeah. you think, why do you think DISH and Spectrum and all those stations want to get rid of them when the contract comes up? And they should. And they should get rid of them because these fucking assholes are asking for they, more money, clearly. I would say, fuck you, we're going to start our own local news station. Yes, yes. I'd say, you know what, KTV, you're getting the fuck out of here. It's time for a new, it's time for a yeah. new big dog. We got, we got enough uh, national news channels, so we're right. going to just not renew your contract, and we're going to start our own little local news. Yeah. We can have, you can, get, well, you can they, find any two They tutor. actually do have, like, a spectrum news. Oh, yeah, that YNN? For, yeah, but it's just for, you know, it's more Syracuse. So you get right. rid of that and add more of Utica into it as well in the surrounding areas. Have the regional thing. Go to Syracuse and then around here, have it again. Like, you, oh, all yeah, you need, all right. you really need is one guy in front of the camera, maybe reading off teleprompter a couple news stories, and then go live to somebody Oh, you're right. You know, you're right. Or, it, or if they're already out there and they've done a story, they come in. All right, like they, I mean, they did it on Saturday Night Live as a joke, where they would always have a guest talk about something yeah, on the yeah. news. But I, I, I'm sitting here. I'm reading the news. Blah blah. Okay, uh, Bob's sitting in here. He was no, out they, in Old Forge today. So right. tell us what happened with the bear. What'd you find out? And then you go. Oh, I interviewed yeah, this and that. No. There was a bear. <laughs> And it opened up my car. Well, I, I got to the interview Boo Boo, and he said that he's going to bail out Yogi, and Yogi's very sorry for what he did. Shut the fuck up. All right. Had somebody gotten hurt, though, it would have been, oh. But, but now, see, now, if somebody does get hurt, now they're going to take it serious. And then I'm going to write another letter to him saying, how come it's serious now? Because somebody got hurt. It could have been, you could have prevented it. As a news station. Right, instead by, of making light of it. Right. Because I get it. It's kind of a funny story. Yeah, a bear, it is. It but, is. And it opened up the freaking sliding van door with its teeth. Okay. So that, it didn't even, right. you know, like it, they're figuring out how to do things. Right. That, uh, you well, know, no, we're going to make light of it yeah. instead of, you know, preventing it or, or giving. You're not a comedy act, okay? You're a fucking news broadcaster. Not, if I want jokes about the bear, I'll go to a comedy show, or I'll break balls with my friends right. about it. Okay? Like, how, like what we're doing. Right. When, when I turn the news on, I don't want jokes. Right. You want actual news. I want news. I want to know what's happening around my right. fucking area. Right. Not nationally, because I can put it on another channel for that. But it is. It's, it's garbage. And the newspaper is saying garbage. It's all Ugh. AP, Wire, fucking national news, maybe a couple stories. Uh, locally, that they got some, and I don't even know if anybody's out there from the newspaper interviewing people. They're just writing up a are fucking you kid, report are you about that me? hospital. Yeah, they're they're probably not even fucking out there. It's horrible. This area doesn't know what the fuck's going on. It's like these people are stuck. You've lived other places. I've been yes. to other places and been to other places. Like I've been, I've been as far west as I could go. Like in America, right? I've been as far west as I could go. Well, actually, I've been uh, Alaska is the furthest western state. Oh, I didn't think about Alaska, but I see what you mean in the continental yeah. United States. Yes. Going yes. to California, going to no, California, and just, I just wanted to show off something. Right. No, well, that, that I have brains. Actually, that was a good. That was a good catch right there. Um, but it's like I've seen different. Like, okay, we get it. Local news stations are kind of hokey. Well, yeah, you know. But that's, you know, that's where you get those clips from on the internet. Of, Absolutely. Of hokey <laughs> fucking newscasters. But 
we're, this is hokey, like, to a shakier head kind of hokey. Right. Like, it's like, are, are these people fucking for real? <laughs> I don't know how when they leave, if they don't retire here, how they leave and get jobs other places. Well, if, that's, if, why if you, they, that's why some of these people are still here. Because, like... You can't read a teleprompter because most of this stuff we're, kind of works like radio. When you apply for a job in radio, you send them you your resume send a, and a, a, reel, a tape. Like a demo reel right, to them. Of how yeah. you sound on the air, this and that. So I'm assuming with the news you would send them a video. Well, if you can't read off a fucking teleprompter. Yeah, how are you, you going to do are you, that? Yeah, how are you ever going to better yourself to get out of Utica? And, and, it, it, and it's not just like reading. A, it's like stuttering how i'm stuttering <laughs> to get stu- uh, you know the shit out of my mouth but it's written there I so don't... and like i say don't you fucking read no don't you read a sheet before you go on like oh this is you would think that they is, would have okay it starts at five this is the lead story right here we're gonna go with this oh you think that's a good idea right here maybe we'll have a little banter blah 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 then it doesn't. Go. If they have that, it doesn't seem like they're using it. It's just like, okay, cameras go. All right, welcome to WKTV Six O'clock News. I'm your host, blah blah blah. And this is blah blah blah. Oh, hey, Mark, how are you doing? I had a good weekend. Oh, Donald Trump me, meets with Kim Jong Un. This and that, but right after this, your weather. Right. You know, it's like and our, uh, and the uh, the lead. Look, I did that without a fucking teleprompter. The lead weather guy hates me yeah yeah he blocked me on twitter oh my god that's because funny. i made these memes way before straight out of compton came out i think i was telling you about this before i put straight out of utica crazy motherfucker named cardis oh yeah, I yeah. Pimped them out i pimped them <laughs> out because they are nwa forecasters national weather association oh yes so i changed the nwa logo of the weather with the NWA. the NWA from Compton. That's fucking funny. And I turned them all into, like, pimps. Like, we have this one forecaster, Jill Real, who I would love to bang. And I did... Get in line. I did straight out of Utica. Uh, I did straight out of Utica. Crazy motherfucker named Real. And I fucking put a pimp cup in her hand. <laughs> and a, uh, crooked hat and all kinds of shit and it was way before the straight out of compton movie and shit i just thought it was the, funny uh hockey team members dick in her ass because i oh. heard that's what uh she's done she's run through the hockey team wow I that's wish, a, like again i wish she'd run through my that team. is a rumor but it's been i don't know it's a rumor it's uh reliable sources have told me how they know i have no idea but well, it looks like uh, we've done another show, episode yes. 30. We've been rambling. Episode 30 in the books, baby. 30 in the books. I can't believe it. So, as always, give us a call on the pipeline. Let us know your thoughts and whatever you want to tell us or not tell us. Call the pipeline. 315-293-2999. If you're watching this on YouTube, like, share, subscribe, comment. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Tell your friends if you don't want to and spread the word about the show. And as always, for everything, go to the website www.bmtalk02.com. And we will see you soon for episode 31. Oh, episode 31. Spread the BM Talk like you spread ass cheeks. <laughs> I want to stretch your wheels and oh, I, I turned you off. They turn the friggin' frogs gay!